there goes one. There goes another one. Okay, let's do this. I'm ready. I have 20 minutes to film this video, so we're gonna try to film it as quickly as possible. And hang on, you're like twisted. There we go. I have 20 minutes to film this video. We're gonna try to film it as quickly as possible. So let's try not to ramble, shall we? Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel when he reads where I talk about books and things. And I know you thought I was gone again, but I wasn't. I was just waiting for the week to come so that I could continue back with my old uploads. Let's see how that goes. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I'm Monica and I like to talk about books. Usually I talk about science fiction books, but I kind of dabble in other genres, specifically contemporary and horror fiction. But mostly I talk about sci-fi. If you want to hear more about science fiction books um, that aren't the norm on booktube, then maybe you would like to subscribe, link, comment, love on me a little bit because um, I'm having a really hard month. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Only if you want to, but I am having a really hard month and that's why you're getting all of these videos instead of vlogs because really I haven't been reading this month. But you know what? That's fine. It's okay to take a little detour from reading every now and then so um let's get started with the video basically what ha, ha what, what had happened is <laughs> that i um have a bunch of short story collections and the reality is that i don't really read short stories they're not my thing they're not my jam i mean i might read one i might read novellas and stuff like that but short story collections they just don't call out to me like other books do so I'm going to just take a stack of the books that I have that are short story collections that I plan to read because I really am trying to get my TBR down to zero and I'm just going to show them to you. The first one I have is The Haunted Tropics, Caribbean Ghost Stories. Now if you don't know, I'm actually from the Caribbean, so this was very exciting to me until I read who the stor short stories were by and a lot of them were from people not from the Caribbean. And that just didn't sit really well with me, so I just don't know how I feel about this one. Although this one would be a nice one to read um, now that it's spooky season. So, I don't know, I might give it a shot and see what I like and what I don't like and let you know. The next one I bought, because Octavia E. Butler is among a bunch of white men, and she's the first person featured in this book, and this is Wastelands, Stories of the Apocalypse. I'm actually really interested in this one. I think I will get to it because I love apocalyptic stories. I don't know, now that I'm looking at it, I'm going to set it aside maybe as a possible TBR. I'm not doing a TBR this month. Too many things happening that, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to guide my cat away from my microphone. <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, there were just too many things going on in my life and the first three weeks of this year, of this year, not this year, it feels like a year. Of this month are gonna be really difficult for me health wise so I'm not setting a TBR I'm just putting this aside just in case I want to pick it up the next one is one that I'm really sad that I haven't gotten to because it does sound so interesting and that is all worlds are real short fiction by Susan Palwick I have talked about this book so much like I have featured it in many many uh, TBR, but I just never get to it because again, it's short stories, but I actually, one of my favorite books is a short story book. It's right here. It's the Oxford book of science fiction stories. So I don't know. I might get to this one eventually, but I'm not feeling it at the moment. This one is all about, it's got ghosts, it's got aliens, it's got whatever you, yeah, it's all worlds are real. So what you see is what you get. And I'm kind of excited to read it, but at the same time, I just am hesitating to, so I don't know what else to say about it <laughs> because I have no idea. <laughs> Let's talk about Ted Chiang. I, in theory, would love Ted Chiang. The problem is that these are short story collections. So I do want to read this. They're definitely staying in my, all of these are staying in my, in my um, shelves. I just want to have a time where I can actually read them and maybe I'll do audio or maybe I'll do like one story per night, something like that. But um, so far I have uh, Stories of Your Life and Others and Exhalation and everybody talks so great about these books and I really want to get to them. Next up I have my horrible, horrible copy of Night Flyers and Other Stories by George R. R. Martin. I did read Night Flyers. I really like Night Flyers. It's a really fun kind of um, space 
horror novel. If you're looking for something space themed but horror themed, I would definitely recommend you read Night Flyers, but I haven't read anything else <laughs> in this short story collection. Also, I hate this like book I itself, like the book, not not the, the content, but the book itself. Don't like the colors, don't like anything about it, but um, that's the one I got. So there you go. I think all of these are sci-fi. And I think George R.R. R. Martin should have a bigger name in sci-fi and he doesn't. So I'm going to read it eventually. In fact, I might, I might put it next to Wastelands. Okay, what do we have next? Oh, another one you're going to love me for. And that is How Long Till Black Future Month by N.K. Jemisin. Now I bought this very excitedly before I read The City We Became and before I finished the Broken Earth trilogy. And that kind of turned me off of N.K. Jemisin. Um, I, I'm gonna read them eventually, um, like I said, I want to get my TBR down to zero, but I just, I'm not so excited about N.K. Jemisin as I used to be. I'm not saying she's a bad author by any means, she's an incredible author. The thing is, is she the author for me? That's something that you have to ask yourself, so, um, yeah, I, I want to because I think this is all Afrofuturism and I want Afrofuturism in my life. So I want to get to it, but I'm just not as excited as maybe um, Wastelands, for example. The next one I have is I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream by Harlan Ellison. Now I have read I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. That is another one of those creepy sci-fi tales, but I haven't read the rest of the stories that are in this little book. So, you know, do I want to read the rest of the stories in this little book? Probably not. Probably not, but will I? Possibly, possibly, because it's on my shelves and I must read them. Oh, the sadness that comes over me. And then I have um, three POC anthologies, short story collections. The first one I want to talk about is one that I'm going to put off to the side with Wastelands so that I can read during Halloweenish season, and that is Tac. To me and it's an anthology of arctic horror stories i love this i i am so excited for this and it has illustrations and it looks really cool but again it's just that i haven't picked it up because it's a short story collection and i just realized that i'm not gonna buy any more short story collections because i just don't read them but this looks amazing it's yeah it's all about arctic horror stories and you know it's gonna get cold and you're gonna want or at least i'm gonna want some cold spooky reads and I think that this will fit the bill. The next one I have is Latinx Rising edited by Matthew David Goodwin and introduction by Frederick Luis Alma Aldama. I always say Almada, it's Aldama. Um, this is just books about Latinx science fiction and fantasy. Um, the reason I haven't gotten to this is because I feel there's going to be more fantasy than science fiction. But I could be wrong, I could be wrong. And yeah, this was a very impulsive buy for me, but at the same time, I'm glad I have it because I know that there is a lot of Latinx people writing sci-fi and fantasy, and we just don't hear about them because their works rarely get translated. And this was written in English, so I should get to it, but honestly, I'm probably not gonna get to it this month, but this is definitely one that is like top tier um, that I want to get to, even more than Tech Chang, so make of that what you will. And the last one that I have, no, it's not the last one, I'm lying, but um, I do have uh, So Long Been Dreaming, Post-Colonial Science Fiction and Fantasy, and this was um, edited by Nalo Hopkinson, which is a very prominent figure in the Afrofuturistic um, literature, in Afrofuturistic literature, and a Pinder Meehan, which I love saying that name, a Pinder. But anyway, um, yeah, this is just, again, it's Afrofuturistic, it's post-colonial, it sounds great, but I just haven't been picking it up because I rather read longer, which is not true. That's not true. See, here's the thing. I don't know why I keep putting these off because these books sound like they would be great for me because I like short reads. So why am I not picking up short stories? There is some food for thought. I will consider this while I try to teach English to people today. You're welcome. 
And the last one that I have, I think, and the last one I have is a compilation, uh, the Penguin Book of Japanese Short Stories. Um, I got this like two years ago and I have not read a single story. And it's nothing, it's just again, my insecurities towards reading short stories. I don't know, I feel like, you know, if I like one, but then I don't like one, and then I like one, and then I don't like one, it's, I think that that's the, the, the issue for me, that I feel that I'm not going to enjoy all of them, so, you know, does that mean that I'm gonna not enjoy them at all? I don't know, I don't know what that means, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling. But anyway, yeah, these are Japanese short stories, and I like that they're divided by topics, so we have, I love the, the penguin paper, it's so like nice. We have Japan and the West, we have Loyal Warriors, then we have Men and Women, Nature and Memory, Modern Life and Other Nonsense, Dread, I'm not sure I want to read that one that right now, Disasters, Disasters and nat Natural and Man-Made. So I think that this is like a really cool book, again I'm going to put it at the top of my pile and we'll see if I get to it. And that's it! Those are all the short story collections on my shelf that I have not even made a dent into. I think I've read two short stories out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 books! 12 books. I have 12 short stories books which I have not even cracked the spine on. So um, if you see any here that you would like to recommend then please do so and yeah, I'm ashamed of myself. I bought a bunch of short story collections and I have not read a single one of them. So take of that to so make of that what you will. <laughs> I'm sorry this video is short. I really need to get going for work. I was supposed to film this weekend, but I was having a lot of anxiety this weekend. And I just wasn't feeling like filming. And honestly, my hair looks kind of bomb today. So I was like, you know what? Take some time to film. And um, I still love talking about books. So Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me shame myself into the fact that I've bought a bunch of books and I haven't read. <laughs> if you have, please leave a thumbs up. <laughs> but anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. And without any further ado, I wish you adieu. And I will see you in another galaxy far, far away.